arose from my bed, which is why I have no makeup on. I just got my loungewear on and quite frankly, I look a bit of a mess. But we're in isolation, I've got no nails on, I don't know how the hell, but my hair is still here. I don't know how, but that's, that's hanging on by a fine string, whatever the saying is. But yeah, I think we're all feeling, we're all feeling the effects now of isolation. How long has it been now? It's, it's got to have been, are we on week nine? Week 10. I've lost count. Um, but yeah, we're all a bit dishevelled. So let's start these question and answers. I did a little uh, question and answer thing on Instagram story this morning and you guys have come in with some really polite, which is strange, questions. Because normally I get the, I do get the odd crazy, like, do you do it now? Are you a slag? Blah, 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 blah. But there hasn't been any like that today. So, let's start with a one at random. Favourite place in the world, favourite place in the world by, this one's from Evie McNally, I think. Evie McNally. Favourite place in the world has got to be Australia. Like, ever since we were on Jodie Shaw and it went out in Australia, we've been going every single year. So I've been going to Australia like every year for 10 years. And it feels like a second home now. I've got so many friends there. I've been on TV shows over there. When I land in Australia, I get a sense of home. So like, it's got to be my favorite place. I can't wait to get back out of Australia. I was meant to be there now, working, but obviously um, the whole world went into crisis and that got canceled. But hopefully after this, I'll be on the first flight to Australia. Next question, but this one's from L. Pender. The most asked and biggest question in the world: Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Yes, pineapple belongs on a pizza. Pineapple belongs in a salad. Pineapple belongs in your Nando's pizza. Pineapple belongs in a lot of places. It shouldn't, because it's sneaky like that. I love pineapple on things. Um, next question. Molly, Molly Olivia 97 said, will there be another Charlotte show? So this is a, like an annoying one because obviously, well it's not annoying because it's just expected. Like things are, untrue things are reported all of the time. And sometimes there's a little bit of truth in the, in the story, but like, it's actually not all correct and it's been twisted and exaggerated just for clickbait, like just for you to click that headline and go onto their page. They have made it so, like seem so much worse. So there was a lot of stories reported that the Charlotte Show and Just the Two of Us have been cancelled. They have not been cancelled at all. Just the Two of Us and the Charlotte Show could come back at any point in time. They have not been cancelled, they have not been axed. Now, they have been rested with everything that's going on right now. As you know, a lot of TV shows can't go ahead um, with social distancing, like you cannot be filming a TV show. So for that simple fact, a lot of things have been rested. Um, in the meantime, I do have a new show on MTV called MTV Lockdown Laps, which is on every single Monday and I filmed myself in isolation. There was no crew there. It was all done through Zoom. It was very, very complicated. But, however, the Charlotte Show could come back anytime. Anytime at all. It could be back next year. Who knows? It has not been axed and it has not been cancelled. That was untrue. Um, oh, Molly, Molly Olivia, 97, is actually asking a lot of questions. Let's, let's answer another one. How are you finding lockdown? Obviously, like, it's not a hard thing to be asked to do, just sitting in the house. It can be frustrating and you can be left with a lot of time to overthink. And that's the thing that I think most people struggle with. Um, for me, 
I've actually quite enjoyed being stuck in the same place and being able to have a routine and not having to travel around, live out a suitcase. Like I've been able to exercise, I've been able to cook all my own healthy meals, I've learned new skills. I've actually found it quite fruitful. However, I have not enjoyed the lack of nails, the lack of eyelashes, and ugh, just wanted to go to the salon. I missed the salon. I think that's a girly thing though, isn't it? Was G Shaw scripted? Everyone would ask this question when I was still on Johnny Shaw when we were still all on it. No, it wasn't scripted. Um, nothing about the show was scripted. We were a bunch of people living in a house just doing what we wanted to do, apart from work. That's the only thing that was organised by the crew and the, the boss, Anna the boss, um, for us to go and who was going. That's the only thing that would be organised or written down on a schedule, such and such as going to work day and this is where you're going to work. That is it. There was never a script. We were never told, or told to do or say things. Um, we were just all crazy morons who lived in a house together and had a jolly good time. Rhiannon Rian JVDE <coughs> Actually mm, Yeah Rhiannon JVDE Snog, marry, avoid Sophie, Holly, Marnie Now this one could get us into trouble but I know the answers to this one This is a funny one So I would snog Marnie because I've already snogged her So it doesn't matter, like, it would be fine I would marry Holly because she's an excellent cook. She's so organised. I feel like she'd be a brilliant wife. She'd look after us. Everything would be fine. She's very funny. She's got. She's very level-headed. So I would marry Holly. Now I'm so sorry, Sophie, but I'd have to avoid you, only because I wouldn't want to marry you and I wouldn't want to snog you. I feel like you'd feel the same. So please don't get angry if you're watching this. There's no option for be best friends with. So I'm just going to have to avoid you, I'm so sorry. Custard pie, right in the face for you. And Scott Corey, Scott Corey one, this is a good question. Will you do a reunion series with, will you do a reunion series with the G Shaw next year if they do one? You know Jodie Shaw holds a very fond place in my heart. I've got no bad words to say about it. I absolutely loved my time on there. I made some amazing friends, best friends, sisters for life, who I'm still so close to now. And we travelled the world making the most amazing memories. Like, I absolutely loved every single second of it. I wouldn't take back a thing. Now, as you may or may not know, Next year is actually the 10 year anniversary of Jodie Shaw and that is a big one. Now, if they were to turn around and say, like, I don't know if any of you watched Jersey Shaw, they did the family vacay thing, which I absolutely loved and tuned in every single episode. Um, if they did something like that and it was like a little short period of time and all of the gang got back together, yes? Are you kidding? For a one-off reunion, with all of the originals, like celebrating 10 years, looking back at our memories, laughing so hard. 100% I'd be in that house. I'm there now. Zero one, Amanda zero one has asked, do you still talk to Ryan? Massive love from Australia. So, me and Ryan aren't not friends. We don't speak like on a regular basis, but there's no hard feelings there whatsoever. And we did message each other, I think, a couple of weeks ago when something funny happened. It was a bit of a, a private joke. Um, so, yeah, we're still friends. Like, we were, we were at the reunion together not so long ago, obviously. I think it was about three months ago. We had a little reunion in Melbourne. Um, me, Miguel, everyone apart from Tanya and Tom couldn't make it. We all got together, we had such a laugh, we had a really nice time, there's no hard feelings at all. Um, yeah, so that's the story. We, we, do, we don't talk on a daily basis though. Lucy Burke 28. Lucy Burke 28. Um, would you consider bringing it? No, sorry, that was the wrong question. If you could change anything in the world, what would it be? This is a brilliant one. I think about this one all the time. So, 
as you all know, I tried it. I did a post a couple of weeks ago about going vegetarian, and I've been trying to start just being pescatarian first and cutting meat out. Um, I've been doing really well. I have had a couple of slip ups. I'd say that I've cut my meat consumption down to what it was every day of the week is now probably like once a week max. Sometimes I might not have it at all in that week. Um, but I'm not, I, I've got to say I have slipped up a couple of times and it is really difficult. Um, I think it's just, you've just got to keep trying to stick at it, haven't you? And I feel like cutting, even cutting down is better than eating meat every single day. So I, I'm on the path to success. It's just taken a little while getting there, but I am making good steps in the right direction. Now, back to the question, because I've beaten around the bush there. If I could change anything in the world, it would be that meat would just not be, it would be banned. You wouldn't be able to eat meat. And then you'd have no choice. It wouldn't be read, readily available to you. So you couldn't get it if you had like a meat craving or if you were hungover. Like it was just gone. Good riddance. No more meat. Emily Hodges has asked, when are, when are you going to have a child? So, God, when's this video going to go out? Right, so today, because I think I'm going to put this out once. No. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna, this video is going out after I've turned 30. I turned 30 this weekend, but this video is not going out until the Wednesday afterwards. So technically, in the future, <coughs> in the future, I am now 30 years old. I don't know what my birthday was like, because I can't predict the future, but it was not like any other birthday because I'm just staying in the house and I can't see anyone. So, so, but I am 30 now, even though I'm sitting here, I'm 29, but when the video was out, I'm 30. So I suppose I never imagined that I would have kids this later on in life. I honestly believe that I would, I would like, be settled down and married and have kids by like 28, 29. Isn't that strange? Like, you put all that pressure on yourself in your 20s to want to have done all them huge things when you've got your whole life ahead of you to live and explore and travel. Find that really strange. Well, anyways, I didn't complete that goal and I am sitting here unmarried and no babies, but I am in the start of a new relationship which I'm thoroughly enjoying, so I suppose that's one thing that's going right. Um, now, now that, I'm, now that I'm older and I haven't completed all of them things, that I set them stupid goals for myself, I really would like to have a child before I'm 35. Perfect age for me. I don't want to set any unrealistic goals again and then just be disappointed when it doesn't happen. But I think like, 33, I think 33, like, I would be perfect. I think I'd really enjoy that age. And then, not getting too ahead of myself, I'd like to have another one, maybe like 34, 35, because I'd like to have three children. Well, let's see how giving birth to them goes first, because I might change my mind. Right, so, Next question, Emma McFadden, what were your 30th birthday plans? So in this video, I've just had my 30th birthday, so I'm gonna tell you what I do have planned and what I technically did. So I'm back home now with my mum and dad and Liam, and we are just gonna have a little barbecue in the house. Um, my little brother's here too. And yeah, we're, we're stuck here now until the end of lockdown and it's not a bad place to be stuck. But yeah, that's all we're gonna do really. Have a couple of drinks, um, maybe do a Zoom with my friends, and hopefully, when this is all sorted itself out, I can have a proper 30th birthday party. Hopefully, fingers crossed, sooner rather than later. Just Charlotte Crosby one has asked, how are you and Liam? Now, I actually like to talk about this one because I've had this really amazing time 
where like because we've been in lockdown and because we're not going out and like people can't picture us places it's like really nice to have this time at the beginning of a new relationship where everything's really private and like I'm enjoying it I'm really really enjoying it I've had relationships in the past and every single one of them has been documented and put all over the telly, all over the papers and that does nothing but ruin a relationship if that's one thing I've learned. The less people know, the less people can damage and it's quite annoying having everyone stick the oar in a, a relationship or have their opinion or tarnish it, which they do. You could get constant trolls, like constantly, constantly people like making opinions about your relationship and who they're with and why they're with you and blah, 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 blah. Like it happens with every single boy I'm with, regardless of who they are, regardless of the backgrounds, regardless of what job they do. Everyone says the same things. And it's so nice to actually have something of my own, like, that only I know about and all of the finer details and all of the special moments and all of our stories together are actually just between us two and close friends and family. Obviously for now, you know how excited I get and I like to then shout it from the mountaintops. <laughs> but so far I'm doing really well and I'm actually enjoying like it being so sacred to me and him. It makes it feel really special. That's all I'm saying, because I'm getting too excited now and I just want to blab it all out, but that's all I'm saying. Next question. I've got to turn the camera around on this. Excuse me! Can, can I just, can you just see what, can you just look, turn around and show everyone what you look like please? You've got to see what's just walked across these doors. Just, no, come, open the door and stand in. I've just, I'm trying to do a serious question and answers and this has just walked past. I don't have any cycling gear at hand, so I've just put this on. <laughs> these are the only sunglasses I've got. Oh my God, that's horrendous. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, I've messed up the camera now. Oh, God. Anyway, I think that's all for the questions. I don't know whether you can properly say yes, but I think I've done enough. Um, I, I, ha I got distracted by the, the, the very strange attire my dad was wearing to go for a cycle. Um, but yeah, shall we end on one more question? I don't even know if you can see it probably because I've changed the the angle of the camera. Um, what what's your go-to cheap day meal? Should we just end on that? Um, cheesy chips and gravy, doner kebab, pizza from the chip shop up the road. <sighs> Amazing. I think I might get it on my birthday actually. Because if there's ever a cheap day, it's going to be on your 30th. So guys, please subscribe to my channel. Comment in the comments box if you've got any more questions you want to ask us and um, what you'd like to see next and like this video.